Hi, my name is Narsimha Badrinath and I'm a senior developer advocate at DigitalOcean. In today's video, we will see how we can use the Geni.ai platform to integrate chatbot to this company called NatureSync. And uh, this company has a, a few of the products in its portfolio like EcoGlow and NutriPulse. EcoGlow into LED lights and is LED light and the NutriPulse is a smart blender. So they have their own documentations and everything and we're going to use that uh, in our Geni.ai platform. But we are going to take an approach of having multiple agents and agent routing to achieve this solution. And I'll talk about the advantages, why. So, but let's see how it is implemented first. So here is the Geni.ai platform. And uh, if you see, these are the three agents that are implemented to achieve our solution. Agent Nature Sync is for the company website in itself or the company in itself. This is for the EcoGlobe product and the NutriPulse is for the NutriPulse product. The, each of these has their own knowledge bases and object storage which contains the documentations to handle uh, the questions. Now uh, let's go to the nature sync and I was talking about the agent routing. So how the agent routing is achieved here is by going to the agent routes section of the main agent. So here is the main agent because this nature sync is the company and uh, I have added these two routes. Basically, whenever I have any question about the eco glow, so I am saying that route it to this agent called eco glow. How you can just add this here. So give a name for it. Eco glow. And here is the here is where we have to describe if any questions or about eco glow and select the agent which actually has to be uh, routed to so i have already added this so that's why i'm not adding i just wanted to show here that how it can be done but once it is done you will get an entry here saying that so when a question is coming for uh, the, in the chatbot of the nature sync, then if it is about the eco glow, then we are gonna route that to this particular agent, and that agent works as if it is its uh, its own question and returns the answer. So let's see, uh, test it how it works. So we can ask two questions. The first question is about the company itself. So do you ship internationally? This is about the company and. Uh, Although I have a spelling mistake here, let's see if it answers. So we offer worldwide shipping. Yes. So basically it is answering about that. So we will see about a question about the new triples. What are the materials used in new triples? So this is actually about the new triples. It says that, okay, uh, about product information, it uses BPA grade and food grade materials. So it is, uh, it is actually routing the question to the agent NutriPulse and getting the answer from there and giving the information. So this is the advantage of agent routing first. But there are three bigger advantages of why we have taken the approach of you know dividing this into multiple agents and agent routing. So let's take a look at that. The first biggest advantage is the modularity. Why? Uh, by dividing this into these three, we will be able to actually go to each of these agents, look at the instructions, settings, and we can improve if our questions and answers are actually not that great. If, if the answers are not that great, we can individually tweak each of these agents by you know, updating the instructions and settings and update it and the agent gets updated. We can test it out individually. That is one biggest advantage of you know, having this multiple agents and you know, implementing the agent routing. The second one is the scalability. So let's say if I add another product in the future to my portfolio, the, the whole thing, the, all I have to do is just come here and then to this list of agents that I have already created, add another agent, which is called product three or any new product name that I, I know uh, that I'm introducing in my portfolio and then come here to the resources section, just like how we did the last time, add another route and fill the details for the third product. Give a route name and saying that any questions about the new product, route it to the new agent and then save it. That's it. So this is going to handle the new product, even 110, how many ever we have, it's simply just adding a agent route will take care of handling all the questions about the new product. The third, another most important uh, advantage I want to highlight is the independent deployability. 
So let's say I have a lot of web pages for EcoGlow itself or Nutripers itself. Then I might want to have a separate chatbot which is to answer the questions about EcoGlow or Nutripulse or any of these products which I am going to have in the future. In that case, what I can do is I can just go to the already existing chatbot which is to handle the questions. Then I can go to the uh, agent essentials. Endpoint is usually private. We can just edit this to public. By doing so, we can actually, uh, it will give you a script tag at the bottom. You can copy paste this to the home page of that particular product, in this case EcoGlow. And what happens is that the chatbot will be able to answer specifically about EcoGlow and nothing else. That way we can do that for any of these new products as and when we scale and have more and more documentations, uh, you know, uh, need that arises for the entire company. So these are the primary things or advantages I would say that, that you will get by taking the approach of multiple agents and the agent routing. So yes, so thank you so much for watching this and probably we'll have another video about uh, some other advantages of Genia platform in the future. Thank you so much.